Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September the 10th of 2020, well, it's titled Jupiter's Swimming Storm. So what do we see here? Well, this is three images of Jupiter taken in late August and early September. And we see the distinct structure that we associate with Jupiter with the light and dark alternating bands of clouds that stretch across the planet's atmosphere. We see down below the great red spot as it moves around there, a great storm on Jupiter that has been present for centuries and has been there for a long, long time and continues to uh, be there. It was actually first observed back in the late 1600s uh, when telescopes became powerful enough to resolve it. So we can see that storm. But what we're really looking at here is the smaller storm up above, a uh, little white area that we see towards the center of the first image, and then slowly moving across the surface of the, or sorry, the atmosphere of Jupiter. And it's a very long storm. In just over about five days here, it was able to grow in size and almost double in its length. Now, great storms on Jupiter are not unusual, but we've been seeing a lot more of them than usual right lately. And they are helping us to understand and try to understand the atmosphere of Jupiter. So what's going on inside the atmosphere? And as we understand here on Earth, we cannot predict atmospheric effects exactly. We can get a pretty good idea, but we still can't easily tell exactly you know, what path a tropical storm may take. And why is that? Well, there's so many variables that we need to be able to understand and so many little things that change that can affect the path. Well, here we get another chance to study the weather on another planet. And putting together what we learn about Jupiter can really help us to be able to better understand what goes on on Earth here as well. So studying storms like this long white uh, storms traveling across or the great red spot could eventually help us to understand how things work here on Earth. Now you also note in the middle image you can see two of the moons and these are Io and Callisto, uh, two of the four large Galilean satellites that were first observed in the early 1600s by Galileo. And why are they not in the other images? Well, these are relatively close-up images and it just happens at that point there were two moons that happened to be close uh, to the planet. And when they were further away, they were simply out of the field of view and not visible. But you can see two of them there uh, just towards the right of the central image. So that was our picture of the day for September the 10th of 2020. It was titled Jupiter's Swimming Storm. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Moon Occults Mars again. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.